photography is one of the most attractive form of visual arts. It's been trending here in Egypt in recent years, and these students are among those who've newly learned that art. Astonishingly, they are all visually impaired. After five years of shooting ballet concerts, I realized that focusing on rhythms made me take better pictures, and I realized that the ear is faster than the eye. I began experimenting. I shut my eyes and focused on the music. I already knew how the dancers pose and where they will be from previous rehearsals. It worked. I then decided to work with the visually impaired. Khalid Farid has been a professional photographer for more than two decades. During the past few months, he has been developing techniques which he believes would allow people with visual disabilities become able to take pictures professionally. Digging deeper, I realized that there is something called visual sense. They feel colors. They feel light. If you ask them where the source of light is, most of them would point close enough. And that sense is much stronger in them than in regular people. They are also more likely to take the challenge of engaging in photography. The concept sounds unbelievable. Defying those who believe in limited human capacities, this group of visually impaired students took the challenge. After weeks of trainings, Khaled took them to their first field trip. I was very excited about the field trip and anxious at the same time. It's a challenging experience. I always wondered how I would be able to frame a shot, adjust the focus and camera settings. Now I can even replace and choose lenses for the camera and adjust it in any location. Maybe one day with further work and practice, I can become a professional photographer. It was great for us to do what many thought was impossible. Nothing is impossible. It was difficult and a bit crazy. I'm a professor of piano and flute, and I act on stage. I've always wanted to take photos of our performers, or like many people, take selfies with friends. The same training methods that made Noura capable of fixating her eyes towards a speaker has been developed to make her and her colleagues hold the camera. We first worked on psychological approach to the visually impaired. Many of them are cautious in dealing with other people. They can translate your voice tone into feelings and know if you're caring or you're being sarcastic. I planned the course to take three months, but with the excitement, we have finished in two weeks. It was an impressive experience for me. I love taking pictures of people. We practice engaging with people and asking to take their photos. That really boosted our confidence. And the reactions of the people we met when they see our photos makes us want to do more. This is still an experimental phase. After all, Khaled and his group are among few other people in the world who are attempting to lay the foundation for an approach most people think won't succeed. But the support they got from the public here and from celebrities on their first trial could be enough to push them further. Soon, after some other field trips, this group is planning to hold their first exhibition in the Egyptian capital. Adil Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.